Right, it's time for our next community conversation. Now we're joined by Liz Mayer, co-founder of Charlottesville Zine Fest. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, we've talked zines on the program before yes. a few times, mm -hmm. actually, but if people aren't familiar, what, what is a zine? Um, so a zine is kind of like a magazine, but it's usually self-published, um, often handmade, photocopied, um, but really it can be anything. So art, stories, poems, recipes, instructions, ideas, whatever the maker wants to tell is what the zine can tell. Informative and or entertaining. Yes, exactly, <laughs> or both. Uh, Charlottesville Zine Fest coming up at the bridge on September 9th, but it's more than just a one day event. So what's been leading up to the fest? So um, making zines can be such a powerful way to get your voice out and connect with others. But a lot of people don't know what a zine is, um, don't know that this avenue exists for them. So we've been facilitating workshops throughout the summer, um, teaching people how to make zines, copy them, distribute them. Um, we did a workshop at the Blue Ridge Detention Center, and the students there made an amazing collection of zines. They're on display now at the bridge, and they'll be available at Zine Fest. Um, Jess Walters, an artist who I believe has spoken to you yep. before, um, she did a workshop on how to make zines to advocate for a cause, which was wonderful. And Sarah Lawson and Mary Lamb did a collage zine making workshop. How many times am I going to say zine in this interview? No, a lot. <laughs> there is no such thing as too many times. Um, and also, so that's um, one part of it. And then um, we've been turning the WTJU Museum trailer into a zine library um, and inviting community members to contribute. So if you have zines you want to contribute, there are drop boxes at the bridge and WTJU and Skate Nelson out in Nelson County. Um, and that will be parked at the bridge on September 9th uh, for people to explore and uh, be a part of if they want to. And leading up to that, you have an event this Saturday at the bridge as well. Yes, and it's just a drop-in um, zine making, uh, open studio kind of thing. So if you're working on something, bring it and you can finish it, help somebody else finish what they're working on. Just hang out if you want. <laughs> when the community comes together, right, the product gets better. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, how can people find out more about Charlottesville Zine Fest? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at charlottesville.zine.fest or visit the website charlottesvillezinefest.org. All right. Appreciate it as always. Good luck this weekend. And I know great success coming up on the 9th. Thank you very much. Casey, 